Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got another short tutorial for you in Fusion 360. Today we are going to be talking about making closed meshes. And, and this is typically done with an existing mesh file, but you could also start from scratch uh, in, inside of Fusion 360. But it's a great way to actually kind of tweak mesh files that you may be downloading, uploading. And we'll just move over to Fusion 360 to kind of talk about that. So, everybody loves Grogu. He's a great guy. Um, I actually thought it'd be a great ex actually example to be able to use something a little bit more complicated than the simple sphere shape I've been using for a lot of the other um, mesh features. Nice thing about this is that we have a variety of really fine mesh detail as well as some little coarser. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to modify or drop down and it's just right here, the make closed mesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to select, let's just go back to standard, select our body and turn preview on. And first and foremost, we do have a couple different rebuild modes. We have four of them, standard, preview, uh, preserve sharp edges, accurate, and blocky, which actually I think is very fascinating, that one. So we'll start with standard. It's actually just pretty much you're remeshing the whole thing and doing kind of a uniform size of, of mesh. So obviously if you increase the density, you'll see more detail. Yep, there we go, pop back. And one of the things like I really like about this feature is, let's drop back those details down again, is it gives kind of a shadow of what the original file is. So you do get a nice reference from that. And you, so like you can see some of the detail lost right here in the, under the ear, as well as the tip of the ear when we have the density down. So you can increase or decrease the density, kind of your choice depending on whatever you're trying to do. But we can also go to preserve sharp edges. And so even with a low density, once it thinks through all of this, it takes a little bit of more to think about. If we do a low density, you, you'll be able to see underneath the ear how it actually kept a lot more of that detail and in these corners than it did previously. So that would be one way you could get more detail, at least with sharper edges, with fewer pixels or fewer um, mesh, uh, lower density. We can also change to accuracy, which obviously as it sounds, it's going to try being as accurate as possible. Higher density, more accurate, low density. Offset's a little funky. I'm not quite sure the even purpose of the offset. Uh, and it's exactly what you think in terms of offset. If you go up, it's going to bring a offset of everything just slightly out. But the max is a very small amount. I think it's only 0 .0, yeah, just, just under uh, 40 thousandths of an inch. And so not a whole lot to work with. And then if you go below the negative... 39 thousandths it just brings it in a little bit I'm not really sure what the deal with that is why it's really helpful but they have that now the one that I find the coolest actually and I'm actually very surprised that it's here as well not really sure the function but still really cool we drop down to blocky blocky is kind of cool in my mind because it gives like a Lego effect or even like a Minecraft effect, which I think is really, really cool. Um, and when you, especially when you drop down the density, you can start getting a pretty good, and I'm actually going to click OK. It still looks like Grogu, but with blocks, which is pretty cool. Um, Obviously, when you start going further and further down and, and a, a less and less density, you start losing a lot more details. And so if you go much further down, you'll lose the ears and the fingers. Um, but that is still pretty rad. Um, and I feel like a lot of creators can do a lot with that. Um, so, yeah, kind of a fun little feature, almost like an Easter egg, in my opinion, uh, of being able to edit your files. So... But that's it. That is the feature for um, making closed mesh. Uh, again, another one of those kind of goofy features they have for their mesh uh, editing as part of their software. But a lot of really fun things in there I think you could really do a lot with. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you have tried anything fun with this feature, I really would love to actually see what people have made uh, and, and just to put that down in the comments below. And as always, keep modeling, guys, and I will talk to you guys next time. We'll see you.